Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 222. I was helping a clinic this morning. We pulled all of their doctor's appointment scheduling data out of their PM and into Excel so we can tell which doctors where. And now that we have that information, we're pulling clinical schedules off of that as well. So if we know a doctor's in such and such a location, we can schedule staff around that location, do it all in Excel, and it's a lot more user friendly. It's powerful stuff. Today what I'm going to do is play more with printing and this page layout menu where we left off last time. I just want to deal with maybe the first half of this today. We'll start with margins. Remember last time if we came over to file and print we got a couple of margin options but didn't get a whole lot. We got this they're right here. We got what the, the last custom setting is one I was playing with and the normal wide and narrow. Usually you get the last one and some basics. If you want to play with custom margins you can do it from here or you can do it from page layout and this margins menu. Margins is going to give you the very same thing you saw on the print and it's also going to give you custom margins and when you do what you're going to get is several options. You can change the top, left, bottom and right margins and independently of each other. So if you need the left margin to be wider because you're going to bind this report some way or you need the right margin to be different than the left or you want more room at the bottom because it's going on letterhead or you got a logo or something else down there. It's easy to control these with these uh, arrows you can go up and down and get them exactly the way you want and then Excel will show you what they're going to look like inside the margins here. You can also play with the header. You see that I, play, I was playing with the header earlier. You can make it this is typically starts at point three. If you make the header like I had earlier it's not going to help you at all because the top margin is goes below the header and the bottom margin goes above the footer. In other words, the footer goes at the very bottom of the page, the header goes at the very top. So this header margin has to be less than the top. The footer has to be less than the bottom just so it fits because again, header goes above the top, footer goes below the bottom margin. But you can control each aspect of these and play with them independently. The other thing that's cool on this screen is you can center the page vertically or horizontally so if you don't have a whole lot of data but you want it to be smack dab in the middle of the page you can do that either horizontally vertically or both and then print preview will send you the old print preview menu and show you exactly what it's going to look like when you print so the other thing I wanted to mention just briefly about this margins tab is that I'm inside the page setup menu we're going to play with more with page setup in a couple of Excel videos but when we want to play with margins and you say I want to change something besides what I've got, custom margins is going to take you inside the page setup window into the margins tab. Orientation is just what you expect and what we saw last time. Easy to change between portrait and landscape. Size is simply paper size and you can scroll up and down and get all kinds of different paper sizes. Let's play just a minute with print area. What print area will do is it will let you set and clear the print area. What does that mean? That means the area that's going to print. So what we can do is we could select say this much data and then we could say okay this is what I want to print so from the print area menu I can set it and then that's what's actually going to print and you can see Excel's put these little dashed lines around this area to show me hey Nate that's your print area and then you can always go through and clear it or say wait a minute well, I want these guys I want to add it first let's clear it and now I don't have anything now I'm going to come back and undo and then let's add August let's just add this to our print area shall we so we can do that and add to the print area now let me click outside here so you can see what's going on this dash is saying look Nate here's your print area this one is saying Nate this is where your margins are set were I to print this I'd get two pages and there's a bunch of things we can do with that we could tweak the margins we could change the scaling we could change the size of the columns in our spreadsheet there's a bunch of different ways to get the information that I've selected here to all fit on one page. So margins, orientation, size, and print area. If when if you want to get back to that page setup menu where we were playing with margins and custom margins earlier, this page setup screen, the fast way to get there is to come here. This little button here, see if I hover over it I get page setup. That's going to take me to page setup. If and you'll see a variety of settings here we'll come back to this later but the one I want to look at just briefly is on the sheet tab that shows me where my print area is set from A1 to J19 and that's what I set over here so if you're doing print area and you want to see okay what did I set again and I'm not exactly 
sure what these lines mean, I can't remember, or it's a huge thing and I can't remember exactly what my print area is, just come back to Page Setup and the Sheet tab will show you that. Stay tuned next time. I want to talk about page breaks, putting a background, and then I want to talk about print titles. We'll do all that in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.